so check this. I just read the Pitchfork review of the new Pavement reissue. Stephen Malcolmus is a genius, but let's face it, he's no Connor Oberst. I'm just saying, it's not 1994 anymore, duh. Did I show you my new miniskirt leggings combo? You know what they say, ugly is the new hot. Thrift shop, bumping indie hip hop, calculator wristwatch, shins t-shirt and flip flop, queen of the hipster scene, straight out of Vice magazine, social outcast at 16, but now she lives her boho dream. She came from Omaha to Williamsburg, she loved Karen O and she had heard that Brooklyn was the hipster mecca, packed her bags with a friend Rebecca, said she had a thing for broke dudes in bands who lived by union or by grant, so we went down to the Bedford bar and bought a six dollar PBR. Ezra. Go down Bedford, take a right on Metropolitan, then a right on Union, and then you're here. Just text me when you get here, okay? Hipster girl, cool by the numbers, and she rocks my world. Knows all the indie bands you never heard. She's my hipster girl. She thinks uncool stuff is mad cool. Indie culture's fad rule. But cool stuff is uncool, right? That's why Friday's jewel night. She reads books no one has read, laughs at jokes no one has said. So ironic with her taste, her whole life is cut and paste. It's a metrosexual romance. She wears my shirts and I wear her pants. We play dodgeball, kid sports are cool. Watching Spank Rock at McCarran Park Pool. She's my trust fund baby bohemian. Her vegan hummus keeps it thin. I love my L train girl, it's true. She always goes down on the weekends too. By the way, that pro bush shirt you're wearing is making me really uncomfortable. You may be wearing it ironically but that doesn't give you the license to be obnoxious. You look like a hardcore fascist redneck. Hipster girl, cool by the numbers and she rocks my world. Knows all the indie bands you never heard. She's my hipster girl. Darko makes no sense. When did side ponytails get cool your again? Your fist, your bike makes no sense. I've been trying to do that dirty chic thing, you know? Donnie Darko makes no sense. I am so boho right now. L train girls don't make sense. I don't get it, I don't get it. Napoleon Dynamite was funny, but vote for Pedro t-shirts at Walmart? What are they thinking? Walmart is evil. Their healthcare is totally inadequate. Didn't you see the screening of that Robert Greenwald movie at Pete's Candy Store? It was so sad. What is with all these hipsters taking over Wayne?